The U.S. president's life in danger as he fails to congratulate Bola Tunubu as president-elect. See what is currently going through. Wow. This issue is getting dragged and dragged and dragged and dragged. Yesterday, um, it was Shew Sunny that made a call to um the uh the u.s president joe biden you know advising him to do uh to do the need for you're just like he did to other elected president to call um uh bola Ahmed Tunubu and congratulate him you know, and uh, in response to that, Joe Biden have said that he will do no such thing because why? Because he believed that the election was conducted under fraudulent condition. It's it sounded so strange, you know, and um, to the extent that Nigerians began to react. So currently, right now, this has now turned to a threat that uh, uh, Joe Biden's life has now been put to threat. Why? And who has engaged in this kind of a thing? Don't you know that it could be dangerous? We are talking about U.S. of a country. Who can withstand U.S. when it comes to war? I don't think uh, the person that I've called for this has is his head examined, properly examined. How can you be saying that the life of the U.S. president is in danger because he has refused to uh, to congratulate Bola Ahmed Tinubu? Hmm. Um, okay, Let, let's quickly uh, check uh, the content, my dear listeners. This is Morning News. It happened yesterday as a former federal lawmaker representing Kaduna Central, Senator Shehu Sani, has revealed what the President of the United States of America, Joe Biden, should have done after he failed to congratulate the President-elect of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tunubu. He said that this could be dangerous and meaning that the U.S. president is causing a very big arm to the partnership with Nigeria. Bola Ahmed Tunubu, a former governor of Lagos State and national leader of the All Progressive Congress, was announced as the winner of the recently conducted presidential election, which was held on the 25th of February, 2023 across the 36 states of the Federation, including Federal Capital Territory. The former governor of Lagos State defeated other strong contenders, including Al Haji Atiku Abubakar of the People Democratic Party, Peter Obi of the Labour Party, and Rabiu Musa Konkwansu of the New Nigerian People's Party. The former vice president of Nigeria, Atiku Abubakar, and the former governor of Anambra State, Peter Obi, have inaugurated their legal team to challenge the victory of the president elect, Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tunubu. They claim that the results announced by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, would manipulate it to favor the presidential con- candidate of the All Progressive Congress. This has attracted attention of international bodies and communities as they say no to the congratulations of Bola Ahmed Tunubu. That's it. Um, my people, I want to say that um, this is happening because Tunubu permitted that. Yes. You see, if you watch Tunubu and his political history, you will see that there is no uh, there is no legit legitness. There is no legitness in his political history, and that is why when he 
when when he, he, he tried to come into power as a president eyes were so much on him if you listen to what um if you listen to what uh obj the former president of nigeria said concerning Tunubu before the beginning of the election you will know that obj knew Tunubu so well and is so ready to you know to follow him up he knows that Tunubu will go extra mile to rig the election and that is why he said that he is ready for Tunubu he is ready to follow him up he will show him that there is no way he is going to rig the election you understand and that is what attracted the statement of Obasanjo just saying that he will make Tunubu to understand that when he was in politics, he was still in school. You understand? Yes, he was still out there pushing cocaine. So uh, I will say that this uh, this is a reality, and there is need for action to be taken. So it's not a thing that uh, <laughs> will be saying that uh, in a lie. You see, let a proper investigation be carried out. Look at the INEC chairman now. To me, the INEC chairman is confused. He's confused. He doesn't know where, 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 where to, where, where, what to do anymore. Because he knows that. He knows what he did. He knows what he did. So, to me, I think the INEC chairman should be arrested. Maybe if he's arrested, he will be, he will be forced to speak the truth. You understand? And that's it just it. So, my people, my people, um, based on this that has just been revealed to us this morning, what is your take? What's your advice? What do you feel? What do you think? All right, don't forget to leave your comment below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.